So we're at Daytona in the Mazda 787B, a perfect combination. This car is a beast. And it's not a bad lawnmower. Welcome to the Kaibo. Let's get right to it. It's the Nations Cup at Daytona Road Course. We are in the Mazda 787B and we'll get things started in sixth place today. And away we go. Now this is a D lobby. I'm so sorry. I'm working on it, but it's going to be chaotic as we head into this first corner. The name of the game is Survival and I think I'm passed by about a hundred cars here and ghosting and bumping and grinding all kinds of stuff and we have a breather and I'm only in P9. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought. Whoops, what happened there? I don't know. More of something and... Okay, still P9. <laughs> this is great. Easy around this corner. Easy, easy, easy. Oh. The grass was getting a little tall, I must admit. Okay, back into this gaggle of cars and a ghost and... Hey, look, it's still P9. <laughs> okay. Oh, ten, ten. Eleven? Oh, okay, it's lap one. It's a long race. Come on. Okay. We're out here on the banked section. I'm in P10 now. And... Right behind Sugar Bear. This is going to be crazy. 24 laps of this. And I, I started braking way too early there. I just got a little confused. And a uh, penalty for a track limit. Okay. Okay. Let's just get settled. We're in P11. Somebody's right there next to us. I can kind of... There he is. And gonna serve my penalty so he'll oh he has more of a penalty okay I'll take p10 all right here we go lap two now we're gonna get settled start to race our race somebody was off somewhere so we're up to p9 and lap two coming out of here in third gear it sounds real slow but I'm trying to avoid wheel spin Somebody, uh, speaking of spinning, somebody was off. We'll get P8. And now lap three. We get tagged from behind. And of course, they're not going to wait for me. Why would they do that? But it looks like he did get a two-second penalty for doing that. So if we stick with him, we should be able to get the position back. But you never know. It's It's... It's craziness. Oh, keep it on the track here. Okay. And somebody's gonna, gonna take it a little too wide through here. He'll get by me. Down to P10. Okay. I know I have a decent pace here. I did some practice, and I, you know, that that sixth place qualifying was an okay lap for me. I, I have done much better than that, so uh, we should, you know, I, I'm feeling okay about today's race. I really enjoy driving this car at this track. It's a really fun combination, and it's a good challenge as well. Um, I know I have a lot of room for improvement, but I, I am pretty happy with uh, most of the way I'm driving today. But certainly there are some, some bobbles along the way. Right on the tail of P9, I think we're just going to give him a bump. I will pass by somebody who's uh, serving a penalty. I really didn't think trying to pass him there was going to be very fruitful, so a uh, bump was probably in order. Again, a very short yellow flag. I wonder about the yellow flags on that infield section. Uh, we'll see a couple of those throughout the day here. Now, I'm catching up to these two cars. One is not a Mazda. 
and the those I, I believe that might be an Audi and that uh, that car is way faster on these twisty bits than me and we're gonna see another demonstration of that a little bit later in the race but for now he's gonna have this position and we'll have to wait till we get out on the embankment to to do anything about it okay let's let's go 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 I'll just show him my Mazda privilege card as I pass by and really nothing he can do about that so P7 on lap 6 now the tire strategy in this race there's really not much tire strategy we can only use mediums but we have to make two pit stops so in a 24 lap race, I guess you pit on lap 8 and lap 16, and uh, everything's fine. But then I started thinking, if I go one lap longer, if the tires are holding out, it couldn't hurt too much to go one lap longer somewhere and then have a short stint at the end, and I could finish the race maybe on slightly fresher tires. I don't know if that's going to make much of a difference. I'm going to go down below, uh, well, below the line there to pass him, and uh, I am going to get a penalty for that turns out he pitted anyway so I'm looking at this one second penalty um, and this is uh, on lap 8 now and I think I've decided not to pit at the end of lap 8 I serve my penalty and uh, everybody else has pitted here or many people have so uh, I'll get down to P5 Uh, okay, P4, because somebody was uh, having a little issue. Now, end of end of lap 9, watch what I do. I go right over the pit line, because I didn't really practice pitting, and I didn't understand the... It's just such a wide area there. So, I'll come out of the pits with a three-second penalty, and take my nice, cold, fresh tires into the grass, because it's soft and green. So, <laughs> here we go. Uh, now, after a bunch of just putting in solid laps, I'm up to lap 15, and uh, I, I encounter this guy coming out of the pits, and I can stay ahead of him, uh, just pin it to the inside here, and keep that position. So I'm going to be in P6, and away we go, go, go. I don't know who he is, I don't know where he, he should be, what kind of pace he has, Somebody else is having an issue here, so I'm up to P5. Now, this is feeling pretty good, but we are going to encounter... Ah, take it a little deep there. We are going to encounter another round of pit stops here pretty soon. So I'm thinking this is a real P5. But you never know what other people's uh, strategies are. I did encounter somebody pitting at the end of lap 13 which was kind of odd I didn't know what they were thinking oh and I took that just it looked like that was gonna be a close one was it a penalty uh, yeah I kind of thought so what I like about this track is if you get a penalty even in the bus stop there you serve it right away and you can just you know dispatch that penalty without having to carry it around a whole lap usually okay end of lap 16 and take a little wide here I'm in P5 and somebody's on my tail I'm gonna take it wide here again also so that's gonna open the door yeah see there there he is so, yep, kind of expected to lose that position. That was my fault. Take it wide here, too. I don't know what's happening here. Mid-race, kind of uh, losing my focus. And somebody else gets by me. Oh, that's my buddy Billy Stingray from the last race. Maybe I can stick with him. Get a little wiggly out of there. But let's go. Now... 
he's going to pit. I'm going to stay out for one more lap. That'll give me a, a slightly short uh, third stint on the tires. So I end up up in P4, 5, okay. Lap 17, coming to the end of the lap. I will come in the pits here very carefully, not crossing the line. Thank you very much. We'll take the pit. New tires, no fuel that time. And let's keep it on the track this time, barely. <laughs> and away we go. Again, it's this Audi behind us, and he's faster in this section, so we're kind of expecting to lose this position momentarily. And then we go ahead and be a Mazda. Nothing pours out power like that rotary engine. Okay, second to last lap, and I've caught up to Billy, uh, to Billy Stingray, and I'm thinking maybe something can happen here. This is just an awkward section of the track for me. I feel like I just haven't figured it out. And I did a significant amount of practice and I, I just still can't get it figured out. But there must be some slipstream here. Looks like he has a penalty. He picked up a track limit penalty in there. I didn't notice. We'll stay in a slipstream. Keep it together through the chicane. Oh, not a great line, but ooh, he messed that up bad. That's going to add to his penalty situation. I imagine he's going to have a uh, at least a one or one and a half second penalty. We should get this position as we head into the last lap. Wow, there we go. Okay, so one more lap of solid driving, and we're going to finish this in P6. And that's pretty good, but I get a gift at the end. Somebody didn't take two pit stops, and they got a one-minute penalty, giving us P5. I'll take that. It's very solid, a lot of fun, a great combination. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll subscribe. See you next time.